Hello, today I have my New York City move-in vlog and I wanted to film a quick intro to this just to give you guys some context. And also to say that today's video is sponsored by LOL. That's actually the amazing bed I'm sitting on right now. So you guys will learn more about that a little bit further into the video, but I wanted to mention that right here in the beginning and say a huge thank you to LOL for working with me on today's vlog. But if you guys are new here, I just moved from Michigan to New York City. Today, when I'm filming this, not when you're seeing it, but when I'm filming it, I've been here for five days. The footage you'll see in the beginning is us driving from Michigan to New York. That took us about 12 hours. And then I'll kind of take you guys along with me throughout the next few days so you can see a bit of my experience in the city so far. I'm just so happy to be here. I, yeah, let's get into the vlog. So I'm really excited about this. Lowell has a 365 day return policy and a lifetime warranty and I cannot wait to sleep on this tonight. So I do have a discount code in the description box if you guys want to get $250 off your Lowell mattress. But a huge thank you to Lowell for sponsoring today's video. Okay, Kelly from the future. This has been so comfortable to sleep on the last few nights. And I've been very amazed at how much it does not transfer any movement. So my cat Tilly sleeps with me every night. but She'll kind of get up in the middle of the night and leave and come back. And previously with my old mattress, like I would feel the mattress moving when she would get on. And now I've noticed she like sneaks up on me because I don't even hear her coming. I don't feel the mattress moving. Also, like the day after I moved in, I had some neighbors that were also moving in and I was watching them try to get a like traditional mattress up the stairs and into the elevator and they were struggling so much and I just kept thinking to myself, thank goodness mine came in a box because that was so much easier. So if you live in a city, this is such a fantastic option. So this wall, I actually ordered some wallpaper for. It's like this funky pink wallpaper. It's kind of out there, but I thought it would be fun because it's just a small wall. And right now I don't have a headboard, but I'm almost thinking I want to do maybe something rattan, but I don't know if that would be way too much with the wallpaper. But I've also thought about just not having a headboard since the space is so small. I don't want anything to feel like too bulky or overwhelming. Also a little storage solution. This is a little wrinkly. I tried to steam it, but I was struggling, but 
I bought a bed frame that was pretty tall so that I could put these drawers under it and then I just put on a bed skirt to hide them. So you can also buy bed frames with drawers under them but I knew that half of the drawers would be blocked because my bed's against the wall so this seemed like a better option for me because I could just store things behind those also. have my wheelie cart and we're gonna do my first target run okay going to need some practice with the dolly because i spilled everything while going up the escalator but i also have a different shopping cart or like wheeled cart to grocery shop when i come back for food i was just getting some boxes to go under my bed but yeah i spilled everything down the escalator in the middle of target that was fun but Headed back now, got the boxes for storage, and I'm gonna go back to unpacking. Okay, it's Sunday now, and it's probably, it's almost two o'clock right now. And I spent the morning working on a little bit of unpacking. I still have a lot to do, but it's a pretty small space, so I'm having to be very creative with storage options and whatnot, but after working on a little bit of unpacking this morning, I went to Lincoln Center. No, Lincoln Square. I'm gonna put it on the screen. I cannot think of what it was called, but there's this very cute installation there right now where they covered everything in turf grass. And so there are little turf grass seats and everything. So I was sitting there and I was on the phone with a friend. And as I was sitting there, I looked up and I'm like, I recognize this building. And then I realized it's the Empire Hotel from Gossip Girl, the one that Chuck owns. So that was pretty cool. Okay, it's a few days later, but I wanted to pop back on and show you the wallpaper that I did. My roommate and I put this up together. It was very hard to put up because our walls are a little bit crooked. So that was kind of complicated, but I think it looks so cute. I'm really excited about it. Here's like the full look. I mean, ignore that. I was just filming a video right here, but this is kind of the full look. We did run out of wallpaper up here, so we kind of had to like stitch it a little bit weird, but I think it turned out so cute. Also, it's a bit messy because like I said, I just filmed, but this is my desk that just came in. I got this from TJ Maxx. I really love it and I love that it has storage. I'll link the desk and the wallpaper down below if you guys are shopping and need some furniture. I love this desk. And then it's kind of a mess because we just moved in. But I want to show you our little project we did last night. We did this arch with wallpaper. I bought this wallpaper off of Amazon. It was just like thin green paper and then we cut it to be an arch and applied that and i think it's looking so cute our tv is actually it just arrived so we're gonna go down and get that we're gonna mount it right there kind of clean some of this stuff up right here we have our cute little coffee table this is from target so i'll link any of these things down below if you guys are curious but that's where I'm gonna end the vlog for now. Let me know if you guys wanna see more vlogs like this. And a huge thank you to Lowell for working with me on today's video. And I will go ahead and see you guys in my next one. Bye.